Uh, certainly worth consideration for permanent residents. I know many of the athletes and the officials, they like the, the pace of life here, the warm, friendly people. The weather is absolutely unbelievable. And of course, as you've seen in many of our shots during coverage, the great natural beauty of the country. Well, tonight on Abel's New Zealand, we meet the Robertsons. They are Canadians who found their true home in New Zealand. If you want to get away from it all, this is as away as you can get. The southern tip of the South Island of New Zealand. It's as far south of the equator as Toronto is north. And the next land out that way is Antarctica. The land is isolated, but not empty. These are the Robertsons, Francis and John, two Canadian drifters who left Cortese Island in British Columbia 25 years ago, heading for the end of the highway. This is where they came to rest, to a tapiri at the bottom of the world. John is 85 now. His wife is 60. Canada was, uh, was uh, changing very rapidly, and I wasn't changing with it. You know, by the time you get to be 50 or 60, you're, you're in a mold. You can't change all that. Uh, all that ease. What caused you to leave Canada? Combination of uh, desire, of wanting to see a new country, and dissatisfaction with the country I was in. For a quarter of a century now, they've lived in these wooden shacks, tending some sheep, raising some crops, surrounded by the relics of what they've owned, haunted by the memory of what they've missed from the world beyond their cook shed. Not getting to music. Music comes as far as Dunedin now. Sometimes it comes as far as Christchurch. Church. Classical music, concerts. Yes. classical music. And um, sometimes we miss, well, I guess we do quite a bit, um, talk, ordinary discussions on worldwide things, things that aren't just sheep and cows and the neighbors. I think we miss that much, quite a bit. Adult conversation, how's that? <laughs> Where is home now? Home is where we are. The Robertsons brought eight children here and adopted another. The grandkids come around to visit sometimes, but the family has scattered across New Zealand, and one son's gone back to Canada, far from this frontier life at the end of the road. I've never felt as if I belong anywhere. How do you, how do you get to belong anywhere? What do you miss down here? I think well, if I miss anything at all, let's see, it's almost impossible to find a, a, a real wilderness. There's no such thing anymore. Everywhere you go there, there's a people, machinery, and development uh, never ahead of you. That's really what you were running away from. Yes, I suppose so. If you, if you go, go anywhere, you've got to run away from somewhere. I'm Alan Abel. Thank you, Alan. The journal 